If you are looking into Wild Horse Village, wondering what the hell is going on in Chesterfield these days with all the development, I'm gonna give you the rundown, the inside scoop on Wild Horse Village in this video today. There are not many details floating around on Wild Horse Village, so unless you know who to ask, it's tough to get details on what is happening right now with the construction process. I'm gonna break it down step by step and show you how the different pieces of this development come together to create Wild Horse Village. And I'm gonna talk about the projects underway right now and what you should know if you're interested in living at Wild Horse Village. So let's get right to it. Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Jacob Pystrup. So like I said, I'm gonna give you the full rundown on Wild Horse Village. It is difficult to find good information on it unless you're willing to read through all the reports, proposals, and zoning ordinances through the city of Chesterfield. So that is exactly what I did. And hey, by the way, if you are moving to Wild Horse Village, whether you're a local St. Louisan or you're moving here from out of town, if you want help with that process of buying a house, buying a condo, whatever it is with that process, my team and I are licensed realtors here. That is what we love. We love new construction and we love these builders at Wild Horse Village. So if you want some help with that, especially some representation on new development, just shoot us an email send us a text, whatever works for you. Let's get in touch and let's get that ball rolling. So very briefly, if you're not familiar, Wild Horse Village is a multi-use site being developed in the middle of Chesterfield. It is right smack in the middle. It is 78 acres, over half a billion dollars to develop. And it is going to end up including 700,000 square feet of office space, 100,000 square feet of retail space, and somewhere between 600 and 700 residential units for sale and for rent, depending on where the final numbers end up. And I swear, like two days ago, Madison and I were talking, we were like, no one knows what's going on with Wild Horse Village. It's like this big secret. Not a lot of agents know, our clients don't know, not a lot of people in the area really understand what is going on. So I did some digging made some phone calls, and I'm gonna give you the rundown on what is going on at Wild Horse Village. Some of this project is under construction and some of it is still under review. So I will explain what's already being built and what still needs the final stamp of approval from Chesterfield. The whole idea behind Wild Horse Village is that it is supposed to be this live, work, play, entertain community where you have all of these spaces combined in one. So you're gonna have the office space, the retail space, restaurants, grocery store, a bunch of apartments, condos, houses, and an absolute ton of outdoor space, walking trails, public art displays, the boathouse, and the lake. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on at Wild Horse Village, and this is going to become the downtown Chesterfield part of St. Louis. They see this becoming a hub of St. Louis, so it's not just a big deal for Chesterfield, it's a big deal for St. Louis, because if it goes the way they expect it to go with this development, Chesterfield is gonna be exploding in the next two or three years as this development really starts to take off. And you are gonna be in the middle of everything in Chesterfield. So Wild Horse Village is right down the street from the Valley, the outlet malls. You are right next to Central Park, the amphitheater. The highway is right there. And you are in the vicinity of a bunch of other luxury apartment buildings, very high-end neighborhoods that are relatively new in Chesterfield. A lot of development is happening in Chesterfield aside from Wild Horse Village. So Wild Horse Village is obviously the biggest one, but there are a ton of developments happening right now in Chesterfield. There is a lot going on and it's really going to completely transform in the next couple of years. Now, one of the big reasons it's tough to keep track of Wild Horse Village is because 
One, things are always changing and being revised. And two, you got a lot going on in this one development. There are different developers, different builders. You got houses, townhomes, apartments, condos, office, restaurants, like the whole shebang. You got a lot going on in Wild Horse Village. So some of the numbers and the maps and the pictures you've probably seen are actually outdated. They don't apply anymore. They're still relevant, but it's just not a very accurate depiction of what this is gonna be. So we are gonna hop on my computer right now and I'm going to show you exactly the different parts of this development, especially if you're interested in buying potentially one of these new developments within Wild Horse Village. So that is one picture of Wild Horse Village. You've probably seen it before. That's one of the most common ones. That is one rendering of what it's supposed to look like. Now, I know it's a lot going on, but I'm gonna walk you through the elements of what these different buildings are and what is currently being built in Wild Horse Village. So like I said, I went through the city of Chesterfield's website, all their zoning documents, all of their planning and reports, I read them or I skimmed them and looked at the maps. This is one example, look at this. So this is kind of the master plan for Wild Horse Village. It's a lot to look at, I get it. That it hurts my eyes a little bit, but the more you zoom in, the more dense it is. It just, it just keeps showing you more and more information. I'm gonna walk you through this and show you what exactly all of these different parcels are. But if you're interested in taking a read through any of these, I'll post the links down below. These are all the documents that I went through to figure out and piece together the puzzle of what is currently going on, what it's supposed to look like, and how things are coming along so far in Wild Horse Village. So, I mean, 22 pages here, you got all of these resources on the website. It is a lot to go through. So I am picking out the most important parts of it to give to you in an easy to understand form. Now, I'll be honest, some of them some of them are pretty cool. Like this one shows you the renderings for one of the condo buildings, but then it gets intense and, and very technically involved. So this is one diagram of what it's supposed to look like. And I'll tell you right now, these numbers are outdated. This does not apply anymore. The general idea is still the same where you have the town homes over here, the single family homes over here, multifamily here, and then a lot of office and commercial space, but the numbers are not accurate. So right here, 30 buildings, 90 units, that is not correct. They're doing 24 buildings, 72 units. Again, single family homes, 43 buildings, that is no longer accurate. They're doing 35 single family homes, and that is gonna be through McKelvey. Multifamily, again, 300 units, that is not true. That is gonna be 266 units in total. So that's what I mean where I say, you know, some of this information has become outdated because they've changed it so many times. These three buildings right here, these are now supposed to be four different condo buildings with 16 units each. That's still under review. So some of the things I'm gonna talk about in this video are still subject to change. I will tell you what is under construction right now, what's good to go, and what is still pending approval from Chesterfield. So I'm gonna remove those labels to show you the general idea at the beginning. So single family homes right here. These are gonna be the waterfront at Wild Horse. These are gonna be the town homes over here. So these are the towns at Wild Horse. Those are both gonna be available for purchase. Apartment complex right across from the town homes and they are pending approval of a town home community right next to it that's gonna be for rentals. So townhomes right here by Fisher gonna be for sale and then 70 townhomes over here for rent. And then so far, it looks like we're gonna be dealing with five different buildings for condos. So I mentioned four right here. So that shouldn't be three buildings, that's supposed to be four. Again, that's pending approval. And then this one right here is gonna be the big 48 unit condo building right on the water, got the pool right there looking out over. So that is an example of what we're looking forward to with Wild Horse Village. Now, like I said, the maps, the diagrams, it was a lot to go through and there really is no simple, easy to read, concise way of looking at it. So I made my own. So this is on Canva. If you thought I was fancy, I'm not. I put this together myself. You can see like I, these are all my edits in there. So this is a separate thing that shows you the breakdown, if you're curious, of commercial space, residential units, and the different lots going on in Wild Horse Village. 
there are now 20 lots. Originally it was 18. And then what happened is they had two lots right here and they were gonna do two different condo buildings with 32 units. These got split up into four buildings with 16 units each. Now that is still under approval for the city of Chesterfield. So 72 townhomes, that is under construction. They're good to go. They're building that right now. Right here, the flats at Wild Horse, that is gonna be a 266 unit luxury apartment building. And then finally, 35 houses right here. These are gonna be the luxury single family homes. Now, between these three, the townhomes, the apartments, and the single family houses, those are under construction. These four condo buildings, this stack of 70 units for more apartments, and this 48 unit condo building are still under review for the city of Chesterfield. Everything with the little red highlight is residential. You can live there. There are gonna be townhomes, apartments, condos, whatever. Everything in blue over here is gonna be your office, commercial space, restaurants, retail, grocery store, all the stuff going on commercial wise is gonna be in the blue. The yellow little tags are the roads. So to give you perspective, Wild Horse Creek Road right here exists already. Chesterfield Parkway right here exists already. And then these ones in the middle, the yellow ones are being built right now as they're putting in the infrastructure. So I know it's a lot to look at. I'm gonna show you piece by piece what each of these is supposed to be and how they kind of come together and what it's supposed to look like in the end. Now, here is where we're at right now. It is a piece of dirt with some roads, the lakes there, they're putting in the infrastructure. As of June, 2022, which is when I'm filming this, for the most part, that's pretty accurate. The only main difference is that you actually have the core elevator towers over here for the 266 flats at Wild Horse. So there are several uh, concrete towers going up for the elevators. Aside from that, this is how it looks right now. So this is the map we just looked at and thank God Google Maps updated their satellite. This is what it looks like right now. So luckily they have those roads um, that are projected to be finished already put in there on Google Maps. So thank you for that. But you can see right here, the townhomes are going in right here. Apartment building is gonna be right there. Single family homes down here. And then the office retail space is gonna be over here along this edge. And then hopefully we're gonna have the condo buildings all along this inner ring around the waterfront. So really exciting stuff. I'm gonna show you some of the renderings and show you more details about some of these approved projects in case you're interested in learning more about any of these. Right before I do that, this is just a different visualization. Again, you can see, so this is, this is the blank slate, if you will, and this is what it's supposed to look like afterwards. So again, ignore the numbers. Those are not up to date. If you go through the zoning records, you'll see they changed some of these plans, but the idea still applies. So townhomes right here by Fisher, McKelvey single family homes right over here, condo buildings projected to be right here, uh, apartment complex right there, hopefully the townhome rentals right there, and then all of your office space, your retail, your restaurants, the grocery store, and this place is gonna be filled with outdoor space, walking trails, parks, like that is such a big part of this community, and that's one of the things I love about the way they're developing it. They want nature to be integrated with it. I mean, they are investing literally millions of dollars into public art displays, public works, all sorts of landscaping and just over the top stuff to make this the new, you know, beautiful happening center of Chesterfield as downtown Chesterfield. So starting off, first up, we have the single family homes. These are gonna be the waterfront at Wild Horse. So this is gonna be 35 single family homes built by McKelvey. And they're gonna start in the 700s, so they say, Part of me feels like that might mean starting in the 800s and going above a million dollars. So these are gonna be high-end homes. They're not gonna be huge homes. So these are gonna be between 2,500 and 3,500 square feet. And by the time all of these homes are sold, McKelvey is anticipating the average price to sell for a million dollars. So again, I don't think 700 is a realistic starting point for these houses. It'll likely be closer to 800, if not 850. They're calling them detached townhomes. So 
single family home, like nothing attached to you, but they're calling them townhomes because they have that urban style. They're close together. They're not huge. They have that urban style, which if you look at the rendering, it's definitely a, a new style for McKelvey. So I'm interested to see how that turns out just because it does not look like the typical McKelvey house that I'm used to seeing. But my point being, there's gonna be 35 of those bad boys called the Waterfront at Wild Horse. So they're gonna have their own section right on the lake, looking out over the reservoir and the walking trails. So these are really gonna be, you know, the high end single family homes in Wild Horse Village. And there's 35. So, you know, you got a decent amount to pick from, but they're limited. So you're not gonna have a ton of single family homes being built here. Next up, the towns at Wild Horse. So this is gonna be the 72 town homes built by Fisher. So it's gonna be basically 24 buildings that consist of three town homes. So if you're looking at any of these town homes, you get to pick from the left, the middle or the right unit. And you can see right here, the subject site. So these are gonna be basically across the water from the waterfront at Wild Horse. So you kind of got the single family homes and the attached town homes on opposite sides of the reservoir. So definitely have a little bit more to pick from compared to single family homes. So you got a little bit over twice as many town homes compared to single family homes if you're looking at purchasing in Wild Horse Village. And I feel like the town home style is definitely gonna add a unique style to Chesterfield because I feel like you don't really see a lot of attached new development in Chesterfield with these townhomes. There's a couple and you'll see some villas and that kind of stuff, but I don't really think there's a good example of actual townhomes like this that are in Chesterfield right now. So I'm excited to see that. Again, there is not a ton of information aside from the typical you know, newsletter with these builders as far as what you can expect and the details of what they're gonna be doing with these communities. Next up, we got the flats at Wild Horse. So this is gonna be the 266 luxury apartments right across from those townhomes by Fisher Homes. So this is kind of the style of the building they have outlined. If you're looking for you know, a good comparison, it's probably gonna be pretty similar to the Wild Horse Apartments right across the street and Aventura Apartments, again, right across on Wild Horse Creek Road. So you got multiple brand new luxury buildings in the area, so I would imagine the flats are gonna be pretty similar to those. And again, like I said, if you are interested in reading through any of these documents, they do a very detailed job at, at outlining exactly what it's gonna be, what it's gonna look like, the building supplies, where the street lamps are gonna go, like they have it very clearly outlined. So if you are interested in seeing what this apartment building is gonna look like, they got you covered. They got, they got their documentation. They got 51 pages of plans for this apartment building. Now, next up, we got the condos at Wild Horse. Now, these are still kind of in the works because these are under review by the city of Chesterfield. So right now, and this is their document as of May 19th, 2022. So that was a month ago at the time of filming this video. Right now, it looks like what they're going for is four of these condo buildings right along the water right here, and they're each gonna have 16 units. So 64 units in total between four buildings right along here. And then the big one across the water right here is supposed to have 48 condos. Now, these are supposed to be three to four story buildings. I saw proposals with both three story and four story. I'm not sure which one it's gonna be, but if it's a four story building with 16 units, that's not a lot of units per floor. So I'm thinking they're gonna be bigger sized units if you've only got an average of four units per floor. And what I love about these ones so far is A, they're gonna be right on the lake, and B, look at all that outdoor terrace space. Like it looks like each one is gonna have at least one balcony or one outdoor terrace because all sides of this building have those outdoor terraces. So if all four buildings are gonna look like this, that looks like an awesome condo to have right in the middle of Chesterfield. I am excited to see that. I am, I mean, I'm excited to see everything they've got going on here, but like luxury condos in Chesterfield, like looking out over the water, that is gonna be killer. And if we refer to Chesterfield's 2022 June um, planning report, this shows us right here, these condos are pending review. So 
They are under review for their improvement plans with Chesterfield. So again, this is still in the works. The final numbers and the final plans have not been set in stone yet, but assuming all goes well with that, we're gonna be looking at those five different condo buildings coming to Wild Horse Village. And same thing for the 48 unit one. Again, that is still under review, but that one's supposed to be the big condo building with the pool looking out over the water like that, again, is gonna be insane. So between those five condo buildings, those are still under review by Chesterfield. So they've adjusted some plans. Like I said, they went from two of those buildings to four. So we gotta stay tuned for that for sure. Now, next up, the terraces at Wild Horse. So this is supposed to be 70 different townhomes for rent. And the confusing thing about this is that I've seen these called the terraces at Wild Horse and the townhouses at Wild Horse. And if people are gonna call them the townhouses at Wild Horse, I can already see that getting confused with the towns at Wild Horse. So the townhouses for rent and the ones for sale. So these are projected to be 70 townhouses for rent. And I'm gonna go back to that original map that I showed you that I put together. So the flats at Wild Horse is gonna be right here. So that is under construction right now. If the terraces at Wild Horse get approved, that is supposed to be 70 units right across the street from them. So basically, if these all get approved, you're gonna have the apartments going up right here, the townhouses for rent right here, and then this strip of four condo buildings right along the water. So as you can see right here, the townhouses are currently under review. So this is the 70 unit uh, terraces at Wild Horse. And if you're curious at all about the office space, the retail space and whatnot, this is kind of the breakdown that I have so far based on their allocations right here as of May 19th. So that kind of shows you the breakdown of total square footage, commercial space, total number of units, residential. So like I said in the beginning, everything down here with the blue is supposed to be either commercial, retail, restaurants, whatever it ends up being. Um, I do know that 4A and 4B are supposed to be a combined building supposedly 162,000 square feet. So again, you're gonna have your restaurants, your office space, retail, grocery store, like all sorts of stuff mixed in right next to the residential side. So you can kind of see there's a split between where you have a lot of the residential space and then a lot of the commercial and retail space. And so like I mentioned too, you're gonna have around 635 residential units in total in Wild Horse Village. So they did change that in May. I can show you what it was previously. So in last August, it was supposed to be 565. And the differences are they had those two 32 unit buildings and they did not have anything allocated towards lot 2A2. And so that is what became the 70 unit townhouses for rent. And then these two lots right here got split up into four lots for those waterfront condo buildings. So if we come back to the blank slate, that's kind of the preliminary plan of what should be going on, especially seeing a lot more happening around the new year. So right now, like I said, it is a lot of infrastructure that are getting the roads in. I may or may not have snuck in a couple times just to get some footage to put in this video. I mean, let's be real, there's not much I wouldn't do for a YouTube video. So I hope that was helpful. Now that we've talked about some of the different projects going on, I'm gonna show you some more visuals of what it's actually supposed to look like. So this is the fun part. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more map before we look at the renderings. I know, bear with me. I think though that this will be helpful if you can see the vision for the map. So this monstrosity is not the easiest thing to look at or to interpret. I get it. But if we scroll down to this one right below it, I personally like how this one just shows a much cleaner version of what exactly is happening. So you can very clearly see these are gonna be the attached townhomes. Right here, lot 2A, this is gonna be the flats, the apartment building. Lot 2A2, hopefully that's gonna be the 70 townhomes for rent. Right here, you see those four condo buildings, boom, boom, boom. Everything over here, that is office, that is commercial, that is retail, restaurants, the whole shebang, and that comes all the way down this corner. Right here, lot 5D. Again, hopefully that is gonna turn into that 48 unit condo building. And then right over here, this is where you're gonna have those 35 single family homes by McKelvey. 
Love McKelvey, both Madison and myself have been talking a bunch with um, Angela. Angela is our partner over at McKelvey. She is our go-to lady with anything McKelvey development. So she's a great resource. If you work with us, we are definitely in, in, in good hands with Angela over at McKelvey. But I just kind of wanted to show this. And again, like it can get very detailed if you want to see where the trees, the bushes, the sewer caps are going in. But really, this is the vision. That is the plan. That's at least the most current and up-to-date one that I've been able to find, you know, assuming that if things change in the future, we're gonna see a new map, but that's what it is for now. So it's not super far off from this one we looked at earlier. Just whoever works at Clayco for marketing, you guys gotta get this more updated, I'm telling you. <laughs> now here's the really fun part, and this is the test to see how well you understand the visuals of what this is supposed to look like. So these are these different point of view renderings. So right here, that little triangle, that is us. So we're looking kind of over the water towards this main entrance. So this is what I was talking about, the terraced plaza, the stepped amphitheater. That's gonna be like front and center off of Chesterfield Parkway. So I think the vibe they're kind of going for is like you turn onto Chesterfield Parkway, you see this, you see the open green space facing right towards the lake. That's kind of the style they're going for. And then in the background, you see those are gonna be some of the commercial space on both sides. You can kind of get a glimpse of them on the right and the left. Okay, this one is pretty fun. So this one, we're kind of up in the air and we're like on the bridge almost. But right here, if you look at the triangle, so we're kind of looking past that big 48 unit condo building. So that's this tall thing right here. It doesn't even fit in the frame. It's gonna be that tall. You kind of see through that and then you see the office space and the retail space that is supposed to be behind the condos and behind um, the little bridge and the, the pedestrian walkway they got going through there. Now this one's a cool one too. So this is supposed to be kind of standing on the walkway up by that grand entrance I mentioned. So you get to see right here, you're looking out over the lake and you can see these are supposed to be the condo buildings right here. So that doesn't look super accurate, but then you see the townhomes right there in the distance. And then it, they're not really in the picture, but the single family homes over here on the other side to the left. This one again, showing the boat launch, the boathouse. And again, you kind of get a glimpse of the condo building right here. And then kind of hidden through the trees, through the privacy is where you see those single family homes. So right smack, like waterfront facing the lake, but you got that privacy, you got the shade of the trees. So you're not directly, you know, exposed to the water, but those townhomes are gonna be front and center right there. Um, especially if you're on like that inner ring, you're going to be right there facing the water. So I think those are definitely going to be beautiful. Those are going to be, I think the top of the top with the homes, uh, that we're going to see at wild horse village, especially with McKelvey. They do a great job. They have some beautiful products. So I have no doubt whatever they end up going with in these single family homes, whatever style they end up going on is going to be beautiful. So I hope that gave you a good sense of what to expect with Wild Horse Village. I am beyond excited to see how this turns out in the next year or so. Again, if you are interested in any of these residential places, send us an email, send us a text. We already have clients we're working with on getting them placed in here. If you have questions, comments, concerns, shoot us an email, send us a text, whatever works for you. Let's get in touch and uh, go from there. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you take care. Have a fantastic day and I will catch you in the next video right here on the Living St. Louis channel.